Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We live. We back, man. Welcome. Welcome back to the Golden Goose DFS show. I'm your host, Chandler Blakely, a.k.a. Goose, man. Y'all already know why I'm here. You know what we came to do, man. Shout out to y'all for tuning in, man. Hope you had a nice weekend. Hope you had a winning weekend, profitable weekend across your DFS endeavors, all right? Solid weekend in the hoop for me. I uh, want a little bit of money. Nothing out, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, tweeted out a couple plays on Saturday and Sunday. Maybe you caught them. Maybe you didn't. It was okay. Nothing that really, you know, crushed. But let's get to today's slate, man. Like I said, thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, man. Definitely everybody, everyone, do your boy one small favor. Just hit the like button right now. I'm going to give you two seconds, man. Just go hit it right now, man. Please and thank you. All right? Let's get to it, man. Uh, nice uh, what is it, eight game slate today. Y'all know how NBA go, man. We're waiting on some news. It's going to be things moving and shaking. You're going to have to be locked in all the way to lock to make the play. So we just come to you to give it as we see it now, man. Things will change. And as, a, and as always, if you got any questions, man, drop it in the comment section. If you follow on Twitter, drop it over there. I'll be sure to respond when I see them. You know, I miss them sometimes. You know, I do have other things. You know, I'm not full-time DFS, man. Y'all, Y'all getting these five videos and five picks, and I ain't even went full-time yet. But it's coming. It's coming. Let's get to it, man. At the point guard today, the piece of news that we already have that we know, uh, Tyrese Halliburton is out. So that's the, this is everybody's chalk, man. Uh, Nimhard from uh, Indiana. It's going to be everybody's chalk. And it, it's solid chalk, man. Definitely going to have uh, a lot of them in my lineups. Uh, 4,200, he was solid last night, gave us a solid game. And even if he doesn't even give that game he gave you last night, he can still drop 28. Third, right at 30 is still solid for this. He's 4,200, man. Just play him today, especially in your single interest. Just get him in your lineup, man. Uh, at the shooting guard. Now, a piece of injury news I'm waiting on. Staying in this same game, highest total on the slate. A piece I know nobody's really going to get to. See, that's the thing about tonight, right? Everybody's going to hit that Indiana side. You're going to get some Nimhard, some Buddy Hill. Uh, guys going to play some Nate Smith, even some Mathurin over there, just trying to get a piece of that game. And when they come back to the other side, to the Warriors, there's one guy that I'm pretty sure going to get left out, man. Yeah, and that's Klay Thompson, 5,900. Everybody going to probably run it back with Steph. That's that's pretty much it. You may get some Draymond running backs. But I think Klay going to go under on tonight. And I've got my eye on him. Either way, but if Aaron, if uh, Wiggins is out, man, I'm definitely, definitely going to. If Andrew Wiggins is out, I'm definitely going to love some Klay Thompson at 5,900. Listen, he's been playing well over the past couple games outside of one bad night. But last three or four, he's been playing very solid. Golden State Warriors are trying to win. That's the most important thing. It's, it's a couple of teams early right now that's trying to win, and the Golden State Warriors are one of them. And if Andrew Wiggins is out, it's just going to open up a lot more shots for Steph and Clay. You know, look forward to be a more traditional Warriors set before they got Wiggins with just Clay and Steph running out there making the shots happen. And, and Draymond, you know, feeding them the ball. They don't have any other real scores outside of those two, you know what I mean? Barn Poole, he comes off the bench. I'm not counting him right now, but... So it's going to look like a more traditional game. I see, you know, Curry, Wiggins, them running off the picks up top. I like Klay Thompson at 5,900. Going to love him if Andrew Wiggins is out, man. Definitely get you some Klay Thompson in your lineup. Some more guy. I think I'm going that's going to go under on in the highest total game on the slate, all right? Now, coming in at small forward, his running mate's been the talk of the town, Jalen Brown, but I, I like Jason Tatum right here. 10-5, man. I know Brown's been killing. You know, I'm a Brown fan. If you watch my videos, you know I'm – Played Jalen Brown plenty of times. I had him not the last game, but the game before when he went off. So, I'm a fan of Jalen Brown. He's in play tonight. You can get him if you want to. No problem with you going back there. But I'm going Jason Tatum at 10-5. Now, I expect to see Al Horford out tonight because he typically doesn't play on back-to-backs. It's one of, he's going to play the front end or the back end. doesn't matter. He's not going to play both games. He shouldn't. But if he plays, I may give Tatum a slight downgrade, but I'm still going to like him, man. This is like the what third highest total game on the slate. It's expected to be competitive. Probably one of the most competitive games of the night. Uh, this one in that uh, Miami-Memphis game. I like both of those two. So 
we going to uh, look at Jason Tatum, man. Like I said, with no Horford out, you probably get Grant Williams. And that's going to task Tatum with uh, rebounding the ball a little bit more. And he's already been rebounding the ball well over his last three or four games. I like Jason Tatum here in this spot. You know what he brings offensively, man. The kid is gifted, highly skilled. And with this added rebound rate, I'm pretty sure he's going to have with no Horford, man. He should he should easily hit you a big double-double tonight, man. I'm talking about 30 and 13 and 12, somewhere along those lines, man. You know he can add some assist in there. A few block, maybe a block Austin. I'm going to say a few. He's not a monster like that. But I like Jason Tatum at 10-5, all right? Now, coming in at the power forward. I think you can go right back to this depleted Atlanta front court, man. We told y'all last video, last slate out. And just give me Jalen Johnson. He's the cheapest of the bunch. He's probably going to be the highest owner of the bunch. But all of them are going to play him, Culver, and um, uh, the other one. I can't think of his name right now. But Jalen Johnson, 3,700, man. Like I said, he's the cheapest of the bunch. He played he played the best out of, of the three of them last time. I like getting back to him. His price didn't move. Give me some Jalen Johnson, 3,700. Another piece of chalk. Now, he's going to be chalk, but they playing the Thunder, man. It's another good chalk piece. Don't run from Jalen Johnson, especially in your single entries. all right? You can get different. You don't have to go there, but he's definitely a solid piece. You definitely going to be fighting the uphill battle. Getting, getting away from Johnson and Nimhard in your single entries tonight on DraftKings or FanDuel, too. You definitely, you definitely fighting the uphill battle. It could be done, though, but uh, I think it's great chalk, and you need to tune in and get a piece of that, all right? And then coming in at the center. Now, this might be a piece maybe they won't be on. Who knows? We'll see. But I want to look at that Memphis-Miami game, man. and I want to look at Brandon Clark. 3,700. He got the start last time. Steven Adams is questionable coming into this matchup. Maybe he plays. Maybe he doesn't. If he doesn't play, everybody's going to flop the clock, and you should as well. Just another great chalk piece on this slate. But if he plays, I think Clark comes in at a little lower on, and I still got interest in him. You know what I mean? For one, He's, he's going to get playing time no matter what. It's just how many minutes. He, you, you can lock him in for about 20 minutes. If I, let's say Adam's fully healthy, full go, everything's normal. He's still going to get you about 20 minutes. And he's a guy that can crush a twenty uh, can crush a 3,700 price tag at 20 minutes. So I'm not really worried about that there. I'm actually hoping Adam's plays so people can be off of him. The thing that's intriguing me, if, if Adam's plays still – it's a bad matchup for him going bam out of bio. I I don't think that works out too well for him. I mean, of course he can handle him on the block if Bam decides to play with his back to the basket, but Bam is gonna stretch him out of that paint, face him up, beat him off the dribble. This is a rough matchup for Adams. He can just get beat that way, and he can get beat by getting in foul trouble. Like it's a lot of ways this goes wrong for Adams and Clark sees the extra minutes. I like Brandon Clark today either way. I'm hoping they say Adams plays so he comes in a little lower on. But give me Brandon Clark at 3,700, all right? There you have it, man. You're starting five for DraftKings. Andrew Nimhard, Clay Thompson, Jason Tatum, Jalen Johnson, and Brandon Clark, all right? Let's go take a look at FanDuel and see what I'm feeling over there. All right, at the top, it's going to look pretty much the same, but I do got interest in my boy Terry Rozier here, 7,100. Now, the Clippers could have Kawhi and Paul George back. That That's a mess over there. Look, this is a side note, man. If if Paul George and Kawhi play tonight, I don't want nothing from the Clippers. No, look, nothing. I don't care how cheap they is, man. That Who knows? First of all, who knows what that man is going to look like and how they going to run the road. It's just a mess over there. I don't want none of that, man. Now, if they both sit again, then I might get some zoo box in there, maybe a little Reggie Jackson. It's a couple of pieces I like. But that's how I know. Let's get back to the play, man. Terry Rozier, 7,100. Yeah, he's very solid. They should definitely stay in this game if both of those guys sit. You know what you're going to get from him. 20-plus shot attempts. He can get you some assists, a few boards. He can fall into a steal. You just want that offensive shot to be falling, man. And he, This 7,100 price tag, he can definitely crush this. He he, can, he got a 50-burger in his bag, man. You definitely need that on FanDuel, all right? 
at the shooting guard, man. No need to explain. Just staying with Andrew Nimhard. A little more expensive over here, uh, forty nine hundred. But listen, he saw thirty seven minutes last night. I know it's the second night of the back to back, but he's another one of those young guys. He can go out there and play thirty eight again tonight, maybe even forty. Like I doubt he gets that high. They probably get ran off the court. But Andrew Nimhard, forty nine hundred, just a solid play on both sides. All right. At the small forward, staying with Jalen Johnson, 4K, a little more expensive over here, not much though. He's just going to get work, man, against a, uh, a Thunder front court that offers really no resistance at the front, man, at the rim, at the basket. It's, they should be able to do what they want to. At 4K, give me some Jalen Johnson with this depleted uh, Hawks front court, all right? And at the power forward, Brandon Clark, 4,600. And nine hundred more more expensive over here, but I just I just like this play today, the man to get different. This is my you know chances make champions play of the day right here with Brandon Clark. I pray they say Stephen Adams is playing, man. Give me Brandon Clark. I don't mind paying the extra for for all the reasons I just broke down. And then at the center, man, give me Clint Capella, sixty two hundred. Listen, I just told you this Thunder team they don't offer nothing in the front court. It's a little too cheap right here, especially with no John Collins, especially with him getting the 30 minutes lately. He can give you a big double-double here and a few blocks, man. You know SGA can get it. Those guys like to attack the rim and get to the cup, so they're going to have some block opportunities, some foul opportunities too, so hopefully he can avoid a little bit of that. But I like Clint Capella at 6200 just way too cheap over here on, on FanDuel, all right? There you have it, man. Just starting five on FanDuel. Clint Capella, Brandon Clark, Jalen Johnson, Andrew Nimhard, and Terry Rozier, man. That's going to leave you a lot of salary to do what you want to do on this slate, all right? That's going to do it for us here today, man. Y'all know the motto. Chances make champions. Y'all green up, man. I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? Let's get it.